Hi, Luis from Piotnet Bricks again. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a custom bricks dynamic element by using our new feature, Piotnet Bricks Element Creator. The demonstrations element, today called Flex Slider. As you can see, how fancy it is. This element is available on codepen.io source. I prepared HTML, CSS and JS codes in order for it to function on frontend. Now, let's get started. On your dashboard, go to Piotnet Bricks panel, then click on Add Elements Creator. You can use the available demo here. Click on Create Blank Element and name it. It may be temporarily called Piotnet Brick Flex Slider. After that, click on Add New. On Brick's Editor panel, search the Element Creator, then pick it to the Editor area. Edit this element, and there are six remarkable categories to configure on Content tab. Back to Codeit.io, use the available HTML and embed it to render. Similarly to HTML codes, copy and paste it to CSS part. Make the same thing to JS. In this demo, applying jQuery, then we must notice to adjust appropriately the enquiry part. I fill out jQuery as in my manipulation. Don't forget to save it. Afterward, access any post or page. You can recognize the flex slider element shown on Bricks panel. Pick it and try browsing its function. It seems to work well. I'll show you how to perform dynamizing titles, images, and relevant stuffs as well. As you can see, components of this element are being repeated. Then we create controls in Calling Repeaters group. Click on Add New Control and configure for it. For type, I choose Repeater Start. And revise the name, label as well. You should notice that the first control must start with group type. For the next control, it belongs to repeat. I will begin for the title of this slider element. The next one is the description. Text area type is the most appropriate. Keep adding the background image for the next control. Similarly, we sequentially create controls for button text and button link.
We already had a repeater start. We also need to create repeater end type to finish the repeater part of slider. Keep moving on render part. Currently, it's repeating the Lee tag with different data contents. I'll just keep only one. When controls have just been created, the dynamic contents will automatically render to this area. In this part, we make a repeater, and it should start with this dynamic content. In the end of repeater, we apply end for dynamic content. I'll dynamize for background image by replacing these highlighted URL. I replace it by this dynamic content. Then this one is for title. One more for title here. In the same way, I'll change the dynamic content for description. This one is for button text. and I'll set a condition to check whether button text exists or not. In here, I'm gonna use an if command. In each button, contains button link beciding button text. After all, save it and check the result. After editing an element, make sure to reload the page. Click on Add Item to customize sliders. It appears that the components dynamize well. You can Oslo apply a URL for button. I'll duplicate that slider to save your time. As you can see, currently, sliders display incorrectly. Let's compare it to the original source. There's one more active class to mention, when the first slider begins to load, an effect stretch openly on width is applied. And when switching between sliders, the active class also triggers that effect.
Then I'll revise a little bit to trigger that active class. I'll use an if command to verify whether it is the first slider or not. Let's recheck the result. Yo, the active class works for the first slider or transition. Now, I'll add more controls to customize style of title. I'll enable the CSS here. In selector, choose the class of title. Furthermore, you can apply generally this topography for other items. For example, I try putting multiple selectors. They are separated by a comma. Padding should be implemented as well. Up to your needs, you can add more any controls, for instance, the style for description or button. This is the title style that we're just configured. I'll check the style functions. Everything operates smoothly, after all, you can get the results on front end like this. And that's all I want to share to you on this video, I hope this Piotnet Bricks element creator will be helpful for your coming projects.